pasa, guys? Uh, today we have um, the Iron Man Mark III uh, battle damaged version. Um, I was surprised to receive this guy today because I um, was actually expecting the DX Batman to come in uh, the mail, but uh, this guy arrived quicker than uh, than I thought he would. So, uh, well, here he is. Um, the packaging on this guy is similar to the Mark III. Um, it's, it has the same colors and everything. Um, of course, the uh, the suit is damaged in this picture. Um, and it gives you the sides and everything. And of course, it gives you the specs of the figure. Um, but here's the cool part about this toy is that, oh my god. It has a second part, and it's his inner workings of uh, his Iron Man suit, and uh, some more specs on the back about uh, what he does and all his gimmicks and everything. And then you have some info on the side, you know, standard Hot Toys uh, stuff. And then um, it, this is where uh, it, it kind of drifts away from the original Mark III packaging. Um, the original one had a magnet door that kind of opened and, like, uh, went around the box pretty much with a magnet. This one has Ver Vercro on each side yeah, right here um, Which is it's still cool. It's a pretty neat box, you know um, nothing special, but um, What matters is what's inside the box, right? All right, so uh, let's get to the figure itself Okay guys here he is um, <clears throat> the This is the greatest hot toy figure I have ever purchased so far. Uh, just to start off, I know it's a very uh, uh, big introduction to this figure, but honestly, I'm in love with this guy. I've had him for about seven hours, and I have barely f found anything wrong with this guy. There are a few things. Um, that I will point out, but um, overall this guy is just awesome. Okay, so um, obviously you can sort of tell um, that his uh, the color scheme on this suit is a bit more like uh, kind of a really uh, mm, bright cherry, I guess you can say, on the red. The gold is relatively the same as the original Mark III. Um, but I really like this one because it doesn't make this figure look uh, like plastic. Like, you you notice if you do own the original Mark III that um, his suit is a lot darker red. And um, and it just, it looks plasticky. I mean, it's still a great figure, don't get me wrong. But this guy, he, he looks great. So, uh, <clears throat> one of the many awesome gimmicks that this figure comes with is his um, his shoulder uh, rockets? I guess you can call them his uh, whatever. Uh, he uses them in the Golmira scene. Um, what you do to uh, take these guys out is you have this uh, shoulder pad right here. It moves, it slides forward, and out comes the uh, shoulder rocket. And um, it's fully articulated. It's very nice. And uh, same thing for the other side. It just pops out. And you pull it out and position it. Like so. Very awesome. Um, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of wish that they included uh, these rockets in the first uh, version of the Mark III. But um, you can tell that this figure is... Uh, totally redesigned um, and I'll show you more and show you how it's redesigned um, after I show you the other gimmicks it has so this gimmick he um, he takes out his wrist gauntlet as they call it that he used in the final scene uh, against the iron monger and how you take it out is you uh, Fold this part, move it this way, just for a quick second, don't worry, and you open this part up right here, and it just slides out, there you go. 
So now you move the shoulder pad this way and you pop this puppy out. And then with this trusty thing right here, which uh, you use pretty much for every uh, gimmick on this figure, you just fold, fold this uh, this way and bam, there you go. And then you got the rocket. The detail in there is just amazing. I mean, it's crazy. I'm in love with this. And um, to put it back, you just simply do the, re the reverse version of what I did before. And you get, what I like to do is fold it this way, and then close it, and then bam, bam, perfect. Okay, so this is my favorite part right here. Um, his flares, it, what you do is you just twist them counterclockwise and they pop out. Bam! It's awesome. Um, these small things pop out too and then when you close them they uh, pop in with the uh, rest of the, of the uh, flares. Bam! Just like that. Very awesome. So we go to the back now, and um, he comes with a newly redesigned uh, flaps. Um, these are relatively the same, but this, th these uh, parts, they actually come separately in the packaging, um, and they are kind of difficult to put on at first, but once you do get them on, they just look amazing. Um, so, I'm, I'm sure you noticed that the new addition is the, uh, the silver, um, I'm not sure what to call these things, but there are additions to the flaps that kind of just give it more, uh, more, uh, I guess, detail and, um, just much more plush completed look to uh, the figure. They are extremely fragile, so uh, you have to be very careful, but man, they look awesome. They just, uh, man. <laughs> so, now we move down to his calves, where um, the first Mark III actually did have uh, a similar uh, calf system thing like before uh, actually same with the mark II um, three of them shows their show their um, the innards of his uh, boots um, but this one works a little bit differently so this lifts up like the mark two and three but the difference is that this whole thing opens up now so let me pull this up. And you can see the innards of his boot. Very nice detail. Okay, guys. So, um,. For his uh, light-up feature, he um, he comes a little bit differently than the uh, Mark II and III. He um, has a separate switch for his uh, his head and a separate switch for his chest. Uh, the switch for his chest is in the same area as uh, the two and three, um, but the uh, headpiece is actually on his neck, very similar to the Wesker and DX Batman. Instead of, uh, like the original 2 and 3, having the switch on his, um, on his wrist here, it's actually on his, uh, upper arm, which, uh, hides the, the switch a lot nicer, um, than the original one.